Okay, so here we are behind home plate, getting ready to catch. Okay, Tyler, what am I doing? This is your new home. This is my new home. We're gonna have our glove on our knee. This is your little protection from any coaches, any other players who are gonna try and steal your signs. So you'll be here, nice wide target. Make sure you get it out nice and early. Give him the old fastball. Give the fastball. Beautiful. That wasn't a very good frame. That was a very slow frame, but we'll talk about that in a sec. Good. Now, if he throws me his slider, how much does that move? Like, is that even going to fool me? Because you've caught him earlier in the bullpen in the warm-ups, you can you know how much it breaks. Now, the problem is I haven't caught him in the bullpen, and I've never caught a slider, so am I going to get fooled? No, you won't. When you give the target is where he's going to try and end it up. So and technically, I shouldn't have to move my glove. I'll have my glove here and your slider will just go right into it, right? Okay. Oh, geez, that moves quite a bit, eh? That moves more than a fastball. Okay, let's try that again. Perfect. There we go. Now let's talk about framing, because a big part is tricking the umpire into thinking it's a strike, right? That's absolutely right. <laughs> Many times it could be a ball, but with framing, you move it a couple inches, it'll be a strike, right? In the strike zone. And how quick do you have to do that? Is it like a split second do you have to do that in? It's almost like fluid motion, kind of as you catch it, kind okay. of meet the ball and just... If you move your arm, that's telling him, I thought it was a ball and I need to make it a strike. Okay, let's try that. Perfect. There's a strike. But let's talk about throwing a guy out. Putting it behind the plate. Okay. The guy's going to second. What do you do? You're going to be in your stance, which is called your secondary. So you're going to come and meet the ball there. Short to here, and a big follow through. Ah! That was, I don't know what that was. How was the transfer? Transfer was good, it was nice and quick. But just not on target. Almost. There we go. Got him. End on a semi good note. When you're behind the plate, is it a no no to try and distract the batter? Uh, like, say a pitch is coming in, do you like ever say anything? Like, oh, ha, ha, right before the ball hits your glove or anything like that? Uh, I don't know. Some kind of, that's a little dirty, but. I've known some guys to throw some dirt on their cleats, trying to get their mind out of it. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. How's, how's the view out in right field? <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. Yeah. Uh -huh. So here we are at first base, and when I think of first base, I think of the, the slow guys, you know, the hitters yeah. that don't want to run much. Yeah. But it's an important position, right? It, it is. Because you're taking care of all your infielders when they're throwing the first base. No matter what they throw at you, you're expected to get that, right? Exactly. That's right. It. When the ball is coming in the ground, you have to recognize where it's going to balance and how it's going to hit. Yeah, that's part of knowing your field, like your home field. The long hop, you want to sit back and let it come to you. A short hop, you want to stretch out and go get it before it takes that skip. You want to go out and go get it. Okay, well, let's see if I can. Uh, if I can scoop some of these. Oh, just watch it all the way into your glove and okay. try to pick out where it's gonna be. So. Good. Oh, there we go. Good, you sat back on it. That was a long time. Good. Good. There we go. <laughs> Look at this. I think I found my position. Oh, there we go. Got it. <laughs> That's how you do it right there. Thank you very much, fellas. Yes, sir. I think I'll just stay at my base here and just <laughs> occupy here for now. So now we're here with Jeffrey, and Jeffrey, you're going to teach me some uh, little infield. So how long have you been playing this position? Uh, well, i played shortstop ever since I was probably five years old. So you know what you're doing? Uh, a little bit, I hope so. So let's talk about third base here. The third baseman's job. Third base is known as the hot corner because obviously you're gonna be closer to the hitter than second base and first base. And righties generally when they hit the ball hard at you, it's gonna be smashed. Let me step in here and see if I can right. get a couple. Oh, 
Oh, there's a tough back oh. end. I thought I had it. Yeah, you can go a bit harder if you want. There we yeah, go. There's that play where you're going to have to rear back and throw it as hard as you can. Right. <laughs> I think I found another position here, first and third. Woo! Oh yeah. Nothing's getting through this. Oh! oh see, there's a tough hop don't right there. Don't get cocky, don't get cocky. Yeah. So how fast are those coming as compared to what you're going to face in the game? Oh, those are coming a lot slower than what you get in the game Because to me, that was kind of fast. So about what, three tenths, four tenths quicker than that? Uh, I mean, those are probably coming, what, 40 miles an hour or something. So, I mean, I guess you can get balls up to 100 miles an hour. I, I don't know the exact speed, but yeah. <laughs> but fast. Yeah. Faster than I would want to stand in front of, I imagine, <laughs> at this point. I think if they're just half swinging, I have a career at third base. Yeah, there you I'm go. I'm thinking. Nice. Yeah. When you're on the field, there's always people yelling in the stands. Do you hear that? Uh, I hear it before I go up to bat, and then when I'm in the box, I don't really hear anything. Yes, it catches my ear sometimes, but it's, I would be lying if I said I'm ignoring it completely. Oh, yeah, yeah, I love that stuff. That stuff's good fun. When you're doing bad, I feel like you always hear it. Uh, when you're rolling, you know, you're kind of in the zone. You, uh, you don't let it get to you. What's the funniest thing you've ever heard? Uh, in Kitsap this year, I was the Taco Bell burrito batter, and I struck out, and everybody in the stands gets free burritos, and they were loving that. Thank you. You must have been the hero. Oh, I was an absolute hero, yes. It was an opposing school, and they were just kind of idiots, and then I hit the home run, and I looked at them after I touched the plate. Did you point? Did you point at them? <laughs> yeah. Did you ever yell back? Oh, no. you yell back in your head? Yes, the whole time. <laughs> And you're trying not to smile and you because you can't let them know that you hear it right so is it tough to keep it in sometimes and not react to it <laughs> yeah yeah i mean sometimes you just put your bill straight down so they can't see you smile you know oh absolutely in, in, in your head i mean it's kind of a kind of a game out there when you're up there you're, you're uh you're going back and forth so i mean there's there's definitely sometimes when i'm thinking picking stuff up but you know can't say that out loud <laughs> We're at the batting cage now with Jared. So tell me, what uh, some pointers that I should uh, be taking into consideration in there? Just hit the ball hard. I think I'll just try and hit it out. I'm not going right. to try and place the ball at just, all. So how do I get power in my swing? Um, a lot of it comes from your legs. It starts at the bottom, works way up, and then I guess I'm up. OK, go ahead. We'll watch you go. Let's see how he does it. And then I'll try and imitate. Was it feeling good today? A little rusty. First round's well, always a little rough. You hit a home run last night. How could it be rusty? Mm -hmm. Tight from last night. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. Okay. I'm up next. We'll see how it goes. Okay, here we go. Be easy on me, Jeff. Be easy on me. No curveballs here. So how'd I do in there? No bad for the first time. Right. So what do I have to focus on the next time I'm in there? Um, maybe getting your foot down a little earlier. Okay. Seems like you're a little late, but other than that, you look too bad at all. Okay, I'll try one more round with wood, and then we'll look at maybe going with the aluminum to give myself a bit of a confidence booster. <laughs> but it might not be a confidence booster, because you say that bad, you should be able to hit anything, but then if I don't, then I'm uh, gonna feel bad, you know? Exactly. Okay. There we go. There you go, that was better. Got some out of the infield. It looked like it went better. Did it look it, like that from the outside? It definitely looked better that time. Okay, so now we'll go with this guy. And you might be able to put it out. And, uh, I wouldn't say put it out, but uh, I don't want to give myself that pressure. But if I do, I'll do a happy dance. All right, so sounds good. So we'll get up there and see how I do. Okay, perfect. Okay, when am I off? Uh, oh, go now. Go good now? Down. Okay, let's do this. Tiring. I did not bad. You know, I hit it out of the infield, not over the wall, but hey, it's to be expected for my first time in the cage in about 10 to 13 years, so it's okay, I'm good with it. So it wasn't great, you know? <laughs> the bat's good, but the swing still needs some work, eh? A little bit of work. 
I guess I might just have to hit up Scandi in the batting cages and work on my swing and then come back and, and maybe look at making a roster. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Assuming we can find a spot for it. Awesome. Maybe ninth in the order. <laughs> Not clean up, but yeah, you know, maybe. ninth. Grayson, you saw me hit. How'd I do? You did great. I, like I said, cut it in half and you can never go wrong. I didn't get it out though. I was told with the aluminum it should be easy, but I didn't even get close. It's never easy to home run. It's never easy to hit home run. Well, you guys make it look so easy. I thought I could just come out here and <laughs> walk up and smack one. Come on. Uh, the aluminum bat always helps, but like I said, it's never easy. Well, I'll analyze the tape and come back and maybe do better next right. time. Sounds good. Well, that's it for me at the Falcons practice today. They're going to get ready for their game tonight. I think I did pretty well. I didn't hit any out. My batting wasn't spectacular, but I was good at first and third, I thought. So maybe utility infielder will be my position with a ninth place in the batting order, maybe. Well, that's all for Sports Uncut. We'll see you next time at Elk Stadium.